Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So today we're going to go through the Sinister Vaults. I know there has been a little bit of confusion definitely from myself on um, on the Sinister Vaults where is sort of the best place to uh, which path is the best place to go. For me it's all about the Awakening Gem so you know I want to try and get in there and see see where that Awakening Gem is. So we'll have a look in a minute at, at Cat Mur Murdoch's um, graphic and um, and basically just jump straight into the video I'll uh, finish out my my quest I've done a few of the hints so that will um, give you give you the code and then obviously we already have the code sort of given to us by uh, by the community but that will be on um, a separate Cat Murdoch um, graphic so I'll, I'll, I'll whip those both up you'll be able to see both of them and um, yeah we'll go in that way so how does it work so first uh, I'll preview it before I choose to go into the fight. So first you need these keys here. So you get this key from your uh, first zone. I believe you get that key from your second and then the purple one on the third. Um, I believe that is is the, tr the real case. And then as you can see, if we go to the bits that you are able to do, these, all, uh, these white areas here, you've got a chest on each one. Each chest does contain something. Um, obviously, this varies from um, tier five, catalyst um six star shards six star sig stones and you can basically go in these pick up what you want and um and basically yeah you just got to complete those fights each question mark is a sinister six boss so this these tech ones most likely to be uh dr octopus on uh this zone he is obviously the one for each one the cosmic one we're most likely gonna see uh green goblin or i should say red goblin perhaps um, so Green Goblin could also be one of the uh, the tech ones here as well. So let's jump into the Cat Murdoch one, see which um, areas, which fight has the best sort of reward, and then we'll jump into that. Um, we'll jump into that one while explaining it a bit further. So you want your keys. There are basically a step by step for this. Uh, it says it on the forum. Step one is to collect your keys every day. You get two keys a day, I believe. Let me actually go back to the calendar, show you the guys that one, so that it um, makes a bit more sense what I'm talking about. So you can see here, you get two keys a day, which is a lot of keys. You know, up to day 25, you get two keys, and then at day 25, 26, you get three. So this will allow you to fully explore um, the fully explore the. Uh, threat level five and apparently threat level four which is uh which is really handy for this one that that will make it a load a load of fun there's also there's also zero energy which is really nice you know there's not uh for a while now apart from say the danger room one but before that we haven't seen a side quest that doesn't take any energy in quite a long time so that is also really interesting and then you've got here so i've already completed red goblin uh and Groot, or sorry um red skull Groot. You have six of these. Each will give you a little uh, zone one hint. So if I go to my inventory now, it should be in here. I, you, so you can see there I've got three, a two. And this is uh, all for zone one. So I believe the code for this one is 3174. I'm not really sure where the, where the twos come from there. But nevertheless, there is, um, there is one there. And I've got four keys. So I'm able to take four of these uh, through. So let's get on to the Cat Murdoch. I can further explain it, um, go in between, and then, um, yeah, we'll, we'll jump back to this, show a bit of gameplay, and then uh, that will basically wrap up the video. So uh, I'll see you guys at the graphic. Hello, guys. So you can see that we're now at, at the graphic. This is, um, you know, really, really useful, really helpful in um, letting us know what, basically what um, what is available on um, on each path which is really, really handy. So you can see here we've got the uh, the vault at the end of each one. So the easiest way to explain this is here you'll see um, zone one. This is what's on each path. So if you want some six stones, go to the one beginning with CGR and rocket. If you want some um, six star crystals, which is the one I'm going to take in a moment, is Hawkeye and Havoc. Preview the fights before you go in, of course. That makes it a lot easier. Uh, that Wasp and Ant-Man Future look like two nice ones as well for those 5k... Um, of the new featured i believe that's 3375 tier four is it tier four or tier three tier three um alpha catalyst um which is really good but you want to take the uh red um the hawkeye and the and the havoc path to see that you get that vault that vault then gives you a um key to it gives you the zone two key so that is the one that you absolutely have to take you can see up here key consumed on entry uh one safe per zone so zone 
pass inside allows access to next zone. You open the safe, so uh, and then you can fully explore whatever. So you open the safe, you get a, a key, which is uh, from the first one, I believe, is, is, is maybe the red key or, or the yellow key. I'd have to go back in and check. Oh, you can see here. So at the top, it's the green key. And then for this one is the purple key. And then finally, the red one. So if you're interested about where you think the Awakening Gem would be, I would say it's going to be on zone four. It's going to be against probably... If I had to make a bet, it would be against um, either Rintra and Electra um, or Cassie Lang and Vision. So that won't, you know, you won't be able to get that code until the 19th, which means, you know, chances are you're not going to be able to get a, um, well, unless, of course, the community uh, finds out, because obviously this safe, uh, this access code came out early. But in theory, you shouldn't be able to get, you won't be given the code until the 19th of April, which is, you know, quite a few days away. But if we, if you manage to get through all of these, um, you zone four is obviously where the massive rewards will be. That's where there'll be probably 5k, six star shards, um, some tier five cat, a, a fully tier five catalyst, the awakening gem, uh, where all the massive rewards are. So basically you go, just to recap, you go through zone one, you get the vault, you go through zone two, then you want to do the, um, Ronan and Diablo to then get the vault again. Once you've got the vault, you want to then have um, all of the hints for zone two, which will allow you to then get into zone three. Um, by because obviously what's the the key to to explore this purple key is going to be in that safe there. Once you've done that, you can get into zone three. Once you've got into zone three, you want to know where the um where the vault is. Then the vault will come out. That will tell you where it is, and then you need to go into zone four, and then there in zone four is where you want to sort of fully explore with uh, all your keys. So there are different ways of doing this. There are um, a way where you use one key on zone one, get your 2,500 six-star shards, unless you want something else from there, then use one key for zone two. Then once you've got the zone two, you can either wait for the community, save up your keys, and get uh, the zone three one once you've done that use one key go through zone uh, go through one of the zone threes to find out where the um the next vault is wait for the community to come up with that information or if you yourself has it then let me know in the comments down below and and i'll jump in uh and make a video for it once you get into zone three use one key in zone three to get to zone four and then use all those keys that you've built up um Say if it takes you six day, uh, five days, that's 10 keys. You use one on zone one, one on zone two, one on zone three, and then use the rest of them on zone four to try and get that awakening gem from in there. Um, that's one way of doing it. Or you can fully explore all zone one, fully explore all zone two, and take it uh, by the end of the month. It depends how desperate you are for that awakening gem. Or if that's not sort of what's on the highest on your list, then then to continue waiting. So hopefully that all makes sense for you. If you've got any questions, um, please leave them in the comments below. And I'll finally myself will go through zone one, show you guys the um, the Hawkeye Havoc fight, then open the vault, then go to zone two, and um, and yeah, that will allow me to get into um, there. And then I've just got to wait for the code to come out for uh, for zone two. So what I'm going to quickly do is. Check the comments, see if anyone's got a, a zone three in here yet. So it doesn't seem to be. Um, it looks like that uh, I'm hoping for this. The safe is always on that path. If not, then you're going to obviously have to explore further paths. But um, in I would have guessed that that is where it is. So this is obviously my YouTube channel. Do come and... Um, come and follow it if if you're watching this video and you fancy joining but let's get back to the gameplay i'll show you that hawkeye video and yeah we'll we'll jump back in um thank you again to uh cat murdoch for making this uh allowing me to sort of use this uh, I, I appreciate that and then yeah so let's jump into the to the gameplay hope right guys so we're back at the um path let's see what one we want to take in starts with 5000 armor rating uh, same for the Havoc. So really, I just want to take in a Havoc counter. What this is likely to be, what have we got here? Uh, nothing to... In uh, what have we got? Spider-Verse here is convert them into great power for 10 seconds. Each hit of a defender's special attacks avoided will miss with miss of aid or dexterity. Grant Spider-Verse here is an indefinite responsibility. Um, which can't be blocked. You can't gain responsibility while you have great power. So what, that attack ignore. Okay, so that is basically just... Um, not anything too vital to know. So let's get our champs together. I'm probably going to take in Kitty for Hawkeye. Then um, 
Quicksilver just in general, Gallon, Herc, and who did I say I need? I need a Havoc one, so I may as well take in Warlock in case that ha Havoc kills me, it kills my Ultron, so I'm going to swap him for Quicksilver, I think. So we're going to use our first key here. Ooh, what happened there? We're going to use our first key here to jump in, complete these fights, so let's see which way we're going. Hoping that we'll get the vault at the end of this. Use the 3174 access code. And um, and yeah, just show you guys how this side quest is working. Hopefully this video would have helped all the little tips in here as well. If it has, I would massively appreciate a, a, a new a like. If you're new here, then please do subscribe. I'd really appreciate that too. So uh, yeah, let's jump into this, this Hawkeye fight. He doesn't have too much health. It would just be about... Um, Watching out for special attacks, really grinding down his armor rain, because obviously he's got a lot of it. But the best way I always think to do this is take in, you can either bring in armor break champs or champs who do a lot of hits. So Quicksilver actually would have been really good. But the problem with Quicksilver is, is that in this first fight, he gets um, class disadvantage. And then in the second fight, he is unfortunately a, um, doesn't have the armor for Havoc, so... It does make a little bit of an issue there, but as you can see, these fights, you know, they're, let's not get it twisted here. They're, they're quite easy. Just got to wait for this Hawkeye to chuck his special attack. Ideal. If I can just finish this with even, like, 85% of a bar of power. There we go. 94 is not bad. You know, these, as I said, 177k on, on that. Hawkeye is really not much. Dr. Octopus is the boss here, which, as we expected, which means that... um my gallon is going to become come very handy i would actually i actually think as you guys know ultron is the best havoc counter in the game i think um you can see there he he just regen from that first hit because obviously the first hit is uh energy so any of havoc's energy attacks even when they're into the oh i don't know what happened there missed didn't let my block off and obviously his sp2 is very easy to deck so that also makes it a whole lot easier fighting this this havoc but i do think havoc is one of those champs where oh, needed the evade there didn't i christ but yeah havoc's one of those champs where his um when you're not used to him like i remember when i first got back into this game you would have to fight quite a few havocs they would always be around in quests um in side events and I always think god this Havoc's so annoying how's he doing this much damage to me but then once you get used to it it um you obviously know that if you've got an armor up champ you can see here I actually don't have armor on me for some reason don't know what was happening there uh, must have been broken at some point so Hulkbuster is obviously another good one Warlock is good because he always has armor up even champs like Civil Warrior can take down this Havoc quite quickly so um there two fights done let's jump into this uh doc ock fight and yeah um hopefully this one flies down just as much you can see he's got about 226k health so for gallon it's probably going to be about uh i'd say maybe a 150 harvest you oh, I may as well keep waiting he's got two um an arm wrap on already which is nice i like to keep try and keep dr octopus to his sp1 just because it's easy to dex but in this case he's not going to do too much damage into my block i believe he's the last champ so oh, we did do quite a bit of damage there about 2k but it's not absolutely essential it's neither um here nor there on that let me take those nine incinerates on him see how much damage this does it does quite a lot as you can see these fights are relatively easy which is nice you don't want to have to um if you remember on not the danger room um quest but oh side event but the one before that i can't remember who that was for i think that was for zemo and absorbing man maybe or um i'm trying to think who was the champ before that it was ant-man and cassie lang before that was the february ones ah oh, don't, don't remember but yeah that that one was such a pain and you'd always have to fight like tiger with the class di um disadvantage so you were just if you got hit it was annoying so that squirrel girl for me was just the most pain a painful fight on the planet because she was just constantly shrugging off debuffs but anyway that there the fight's done relatively easy you can see i'm pretty much unscathed on my champs there uh hopefully in my chest there's the two and a half k there's the vault as we expected so let's go to the open crystal bit hopefully the the vault pops up maybe i have to go to my inventory for it so other yep here's the vault so you want to use that item 
Then you want to put in the three. It was three one seven four, I believe. Maybe mine will be different. So sometimes it doesn't come up. So you maybe try and go to the home screen. It should come up again. Um, again, I hope this has helped you guys out. This would be amazing if you could give it a, a like if this has helped out. Or do subscribe if you are new around here. Comment to let me know if you've got uh, zone 3. But here there's 3174. Is that code going to be correct? Doesn't seem to have given me anything. Have I put the code in wrong? Oh no, here we go. Gain access to zone 2 reward path. So in theory now if I go in. If I go back into my sinister vaults. Not use a key, obviously, because uh, I'm probably not going to fight that quite yet. Uh, or definitely not in this video. Yep, then it gives me access to zone 2. I can go and take on any of these champs, which for this one is the Ronan Diablo one. Um, if you guys saw again in that graphic, which I'm hoping is still on screen here. Let me see. Now you're going to see through my Twitter, which is uh, yeah, not, not, much to, uh, not much to look at. But you can see here, zone 2. We've got... The Ronan and Diablo one for the 4K tier 6 class catalyst and the vault. And then once you've got that, you should have the vault into your, um, into your inventory. And then it's just about trying to crack the code from there. So that is uh, that will do it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope this has really helped you out. And if it has, uh, please leave a like. Please do subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. Um, let me know what other videos you'd like to see coming in the future. I'm going to show each one of these when, uh, say, I complete Zone 2 and I do the uh, code for zone that Zone 2 safe. Then I'll, I'll put that video up so you guys know what it is. And, yeah, hopefully that will help you out. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your view. And, um, yeah, see you in the next one. Goodbye.